Warning, I will not be held responsible for your actions because of this video. By doing anything in this video, you are taking the responsibility of potentially breaking your device and or breaking terms of service with your cell phone provider. In this video, I will demonstrate how to tether unlimited on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on uh, version or the software OS, whatever, uh, 4.3 using Jedi Master ROM custom with custom recovery as Team Win. Um, the only thing I'm using is three different apps um, Wi Fi Tether Router, uh, Selenix uh, Mode Changer and private internet access to avoid the uh, T-Mobile redirect the upsell page basically so first thing you want to do is uh, obviously you need to flash customer recovery you need to make sure your phone's rooted and then uh, install a cust the custom ROM Jedi Master X 2 which was released in December of last year um, First thing you want to do is make sure you go into Linux mode changer because if you don't do this your data will consistently drop out uh, so you need to make sure that uh, that you uh, set the mode to permissive uh, and then reboot your phone after that and then you won't have any more data dropouts so then after that you want to go to uh, uh, Wi-Fi tether router but first uh, you can actually go to mobile hotspot because it's actually using the native hotspot but the hotspot will not connect to the VPN unless you use Wi-Fi tether router I don't know why but you can turn this on and the VPN won't connect so you can configure all your Wi-Fi your passwords whatever you want right um, whatever you want the name to be so uh, turn that off and then you go into a uh, Wi-Fi tether router configure the router and then go to interface you want to make sure it's on WAN low zero and method native tether okay go back and then uh, after you do that you can enable it alright it says configure and Wi-Fi tether now my 4G LTE fluctuates between that and the uh, 4G uh, it's kind of sketchy, so I don't have, but I mean, if I'm going over to a friend's house and they don't have internet or whatever, you know, I can use my internet on my phone, connect to my laptop, what have you, PlayStation, whatever. So now that it's on, it's going to use both at the same time. You have to do it this way, otherwise it will not work. And then you go to uh, the private internet access app. You open that up. You have your login credentials, you select your server, whatever you want. Uh, usually lowest ping is better, but some have higher bandwidth with higher ping it just depends which server you want to connect to uh, you hit connect I trust this application okay starting VPN on US East connecting authenticating getting client uh, configuration connected alright so now that that's done we need to this uh, part for the phone is done you leave this set this by uh, and now it's time to go to the computer so once you have all this set up, you have your your Wi-Fi hotspot going, um, you're connected to your VPN. Uh, as you can see, it is connected. Now, once again, I said that my 4G and LTE, it fluctuates between the two. There's a way that if you have this issue, you can go into your uh, dialer, hit star pound, uh, 2263 pound. Uh, all right. And then... Uh, you can go through and change it to uh, WCDMA uh, GSM, so that's 4G and GSM only, or LTE and uh, 4G only. You can select uh, your band preference as well. Some have better performance. You just got to fiddle around with it. Um, after that, you go to the computer, make sure your hotspot's running. You're connected to the VPN, as you can see the indicators there. Uh, so on the computer, you want to make sure that... Oh, let me get to focus. 
you go into uh, your network and sharing center, right? Change adapter settings. Make sure you know Ethernet's disabled, Wi-Fi's on, uh, connect to disconnect, and then you have your list of all your networks, right? So mine's under Net Net uh, Note Two Tether, so I hit connect. Uh, my I've already connected before, it, but as you can see, it is connected, right? It says limited right now but that's because my 4G and LTE keeps on fluctuating. Uh, uh, the one thing you should also note is that when you uh, connect, you gotta make sure that your APN on your phone is uh, set to IPv4, not IPv6, but you'll if you install the Jedi ROM, it's already, the tether pr uh, provision's already taken off, so you should be fine. Uh, so it says internet access on IPv4 connectivity, uh, IPv6, uh, no network access. So that's fine. Link speed, 72 megs, so you you're, should be good. Um, now granted, the speeds are going to be kind of slow because I'm on 4G. Um, but if you go into, uh, go open up Google Chrome, because I am now connected, you go to speedtest.net, right? And then you run speedtest.net. And as you can see, I'm in the Midwest. It's on a. This is my location, right? Chaluga LLC, whatever. That's that's my the uh, private internet access server. Now it's going to take a minute to run because uh, I'm only on two bars of 4G, right? But give it a second, and you know I'm still connected to Note 2 Tether. My. Uh, Ethernet disabled. That's my uh, VPN for my uh, computer, but it's disabled as well. So, and then Note 2 Tether. It's connected. See, 120 ping, you know, 10, 12, 13 megs down. I mean, that's not terrible. I mean, that's doable. You can watch Netflix, YouTube, whatever. But, um, I mean, this is more viable option for some people than having... DSL or if you're out in the boonies or what have you so five megs down I mean that's not bad but if you're in a good 4G LTE area and you don't want to have to pay uh, hundreds of dollars for a cable company for their internet subscription packages and you want T-Mobile unlimited data for you know seventy dollars whatever a month because that's what I'm paying this is definitely worth it now granted it just depends on your coverage area so if you're on good coverage with T-Mobile, I would highly suggest this, especially if you have a Note 2. So yeah, as you can see, 5 megs down, 0.4 up on a bar of 4G, and I am connected to the Note 2 Tether. So there you have it. I hope this helps. Uh, good luck, everybody.